back now with a big catch that could very well earn a Virginia Beach fisherman some serious bragging rights. He's hoping his catch over the weekend on Lake Smith will become a state record for the biggest flathead catfish. Sit on your size, Joe Fisher is here now. And Joe, I mean, this thing is just huge. Laura and Stephanie, it is massive. It's a giant catfish, 68 pounds, which is wow. about two pounds heavier than the current state record holder. That was set back in 1994. Jeffrey Dill, look at him there. He's pretty proud. He says after the official measurement on Saturday, he fried up the catfish just in time for the Memorial Day cookout. So the fish is gone, but the story of how he caught it will never be forgotten. I've been out here in the freezing cold trying to get them. On the water, it takes time, it takes patience. I've been out here in the sleet. Sometimes days before something bites. Just to fight, just to know it's me versus you. It's a game Jeffrey Dill knows well. And once a circle hook gets in, it's not coming out. He's been playing 30 years. And you just got to hold on for dear life. And for 15 minutes on Saturday, that's what he did, held on tight. My whole rod was like this. And I had to walk my rod back out because he was on that side. 68 pounds of catfish tugging on the line. Yeah, it was, it was a monster. It was a true river monster. A monster that's been coined Big Earl. It took us like a good 10 minutes to even get to our truck because everybody was pulling off the side of the road and was like, let me get a picture, let me get a picture. State wildlife officials say Dill could beat a 24-year record this 66-pounder caught in northern Virginia. Chad Boyce is a biologist who calls the flathead catfish an ambush predator. Lake Smith in Virginia Beach was stocked in the late 90s, he says, to control the population of smaller fish like perch. That's definitely a, a trophy. We've seen some big catfish, but I've never seen anything this large in these lakes. Boyce will take the head back to the lab to determine its age, likely 20 years or older. It'll be up to the state records committee to decide whether Big Earl earns the big title. I'm waiting on that confirmation, though, when they send me my plaque. But I got it. I mean, no matter what, I got it. And get, get this, the catfish was actually reeled in with a $20 fishing rod from Walmart that really should have only been able to handle a 15 to 20 pound fish. So there's some hope for us rookies out there that we too might get lucky with a big catch someday. Who knows? I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.